Good morning. I hope all the kids out here are getting ready for Christmas and it's getting really close. We're just a few days away and I hope everybody's excited. I got to tell you, you know, this year's been kind of an interesting year. It's been a difficult or different Christmas season. We haven't been able to come together and do all the things that we normally do as a big church family. We're doing them all remote and even my immediate family, we're not able to get together and do the things we used to do. So it's been very different. And I got to tell you, I don't like all those things because I like being with you guys and I really like being with my family and just being able to give everybody hugs and tell you how much I love you. So I started thinking about the things that I don't like. You know, y'all got things that you don't like. Well, here's one thing that I really don't like. Buttermilk. I doubt any of your parents have buttermilk in the house, but they might, if they do, get them to let you taste it. I gotta tell you, I don't like the taste of buttermilk. It tastes like milk that's been left in the refrigerator for way too long, and it's kind of gone sour and kind of chunky, and it's just, I don't like it, okay? It's, I don't like it. Now, my dad, he likes to drink buttermilk, but I don't. One time, a long time ago, Clay Long, or Christian Long and Sam were staying with my mom and dad for a few days while the rest of us went to Montreat. And my dad had buttermilk in the refrigerator, just like this. And Christian came down and my dad said, what would you like to drink for breakfast? And Christian said, a glass of milk. And my dad said, there's milk in the refrigerator. And Christian didn't know what buttermilk was and he pulled out the wrong jug. And when he did, he poured himself a glass of buttermilk and he took a sip and it was awful. My dad said, you can't imagine how his face turned when he got finished with that. So buttermilk's just not very good. I don't really like it. Here's some other stuff that I don't really like. This is just raw flour. You know what, raw flour is not very good. I bet you mom and dad's got some of that at the home. Let them just, just take a little teeny tiny teaspoon of raw flour and take a bite out of it and tell me what you think. You know what, sometimes if you dump that raw flour and you add something else to it, this is called shortening. Some people call it lard. And I gotta tell you, I don't really like it either. Mom, your mom may have some of this at home. If they do, get them to check and see. And, but you know what, if you mix that lard and that flour up and you kind of mix it all together like that, okay, and you just kind of crunch it all together. And then you take that buttermilk that I really don't like. And you kind of mix it in there too. Okay, and you mix that buttermilk in there. Well, you're gonna come up with something that's different. So sometimes when we take all the things that we don't like, or better yet, when we let God, when we give over to God all the things that we don't like, and so let's see if what God can do, it's really a miracle sometimes. God can take stuff that we think is just terrible, like buttermilk and raw flour and shortening, or some people call it lard, and just mix all that stuff together. And it just, you think, oh my goodness, this is just terrible. Who would ever want this? Because of all these bad things. But you know what? If you take all these bad things, and you mix them together, you actually come up with something that's very different. So I'm gonna let, put this on pause for just a minute here, and then I'm gonna clean my hands up and see if we can see what this looks like when it's all different. You know what, we took all those stuff that I didn't like, that buttermilk and this shortening and this raw flour, and mixed it all together and kind of made it into a little bunch of little balls that, you know, it still didn't look very good when I got finished with all that, but I threw it in the oven. And sometimes when you do that, you end up with some biscuits. These aren't the best biscuits I ever made, but they're not too bad, I suppose. And you know, if you take these same biscuits and you add a little butter, and this is some homemade fig jam. The Old Testament lesson you heard this morning 
says that God says, don't be afraid. It says, fear not. It says, God's going to make a bunch of great things happen. It even says in that passage that, that God's going to give us a bumper crop of figs. Well, you know what? This year I had a bumper crop of figs. Made some really good fig jam. So if you put some of that fig jam, some of that butter in these biscuits, you got something that's really good. And it's a whole lot better than all these bad things were. So you know what? If we can take all the bad things in our life and just turn them over to God, sometimes what's going to happen is he's going to bless us with a bumper crop of really good stuff and stuff that's going to be better than we ever imagined. So I hope you all have a great week. And maybe your mom will make you some biscuits. So have a Merry Christmas. And I can't wait till I can see everybody and hug everybody again soon. Thanks.